So recently in my YouTube feed, the videos related to how to be the main character of your life are popping up. To be the main character of your life basically means taking control of your own narrative, prioritizing your growth and embracing your own unique journey with confidence. I found this idea very fascinating but to be honest, I also found this a little confusing as there are probably very few video pieces that had broken down this idea. So I have researched the concept more and found it really interesting that I'm already applying it in my life. So in this video, I'm going to break down what exactly it means to be the main character of your life, why you need this idea in your life and how you can apply it. By the end of the video, you'll have the tools to start living life as the star of your own show. So let's dive in. So firstly, clearing out the concept to be the main character of your life means stepping into the driver's seat of your own story. You'll take the full responsibility of your happiness, achieving what you want and setting up clear boundaries for yourself. It is about understanding your uniqueness, strength and weakness and living life intentionally like you see in the main protagonist of a movie. Now why you need this idea? Because it helps you to break free from the expectations of others, making decisions that truly reflect your values. To be the main character of your life means empowering your own principles and make them work to achieve the life you want. Now coming to the main part, how to apply the principles to be the main character of your life. I'm going to discuss only four principles and I hope after this you'll have a clear idea about this concept. So the number one is romanticizing your life. What do you think when you first have the concept of romance. It is all about falling in love with someone, right? Now imagine yourself with that person like you see in romantic movies. So like this, instead of that person, replace your life in that same place. And that's it. This is a simple concept. To clear it out more, find beauty and meaning in your everyday routine. Instead of waking up and feeling dread about Mondays, wake up unapologetically and imagine, yes, stressing out the word imagine, that you are having the best life from all the people you know. Instead of doom scrolling your phone, wake up and put a music you love in the background. Do your morning routine before going out for the work, like dressing up in a best possible way before going for a run. Meditate like a saint so that you can have a mindful and productive day. Serve yourself breakfast in a way so that it seems like Jamie Oliver has prepared it for you. Similarly, when you are in a situation where you are about to complain for the day. Just pause a little and ask yourself how would the main character of your dream life handle this situation? For example, instead of complaining about a long line, use the time to practice mindfulness or listening to your favorite audiobook. Or if any plans fall through with friends, use the opportunity to have the me time for you. Work for your future self, reflect, relax, whatever you want to do. In this way, you are transforming your ordinary moments into something magical, enable you to face everyday life with a positive mindset. Number two, treat yourself well. Uh, it can be better described in a way like think about the main characters of movies. Most of them you'll find were dressed up in the best way possible and that's what you like about them and desire to be that person. So show up every day in the best way possible. It can be in your school, it can be in your office, it can be in your everyday life. People will start to feel good about you wear outfits that will make you confident and bold, maybe inspired by the people you admire. For example, for me, I love how Harry Styles carry out these shorts and so I also tried them and loved it. Wearing shorts is now making me confident. It's almost like the styles you admire and feel good when you flaunt them. Pamper yourself with a good healthcare routine, maybe taking a long shower, applying moisturizer in your skin, 
gym, after your work, wear pajamas, read a book. Similarly, say no whenever you think it is right. It's not selfish, it's self-respect. It's all about prioritizing time for yourself, setting up boundaries. When you treat yourself like a priority, you embody the main character energy. Number three, and probably the most important one, don't be a side character of your life. Don't be a side character anymore. What is a side character? It is someone who supports the story but doesn't control or direct the narrative, but play a passive or secondary role in someone else's life. On the other hand, the main character is the person who drives the story forward, making the key decisions and actively shaping the events in their life. Other people just look at the main character and be in awe of that person, wish to be that person. And if you are like me, most of the people play the role of a side character. So don't be that anymore. Be the main character. Stop waiting for others to make your path. Make decisions for you. Make your fucking life principles. Don't sit and wait for the right moment. The right moment is right now. Don't think what other people are going to think for your decisions. Make the YouTube channel you always wanted to make. Wear the dress you always wanted wanted to wear, express the words you always wanted to say. For example, previously I used to see people are dancing in the public places like no one is watching. And I used to be in awe and wonder how free they are expressing their emotions and always admire be that kind of person. This is a side character trait. Now, a few days ago, I went to Rishikesh and at one evening I saw people dancing in joy after the Ganga Arti. Now that time I didn't hesitate to join them. I danced like hell and felt so much freedom and joy expressing myself. By the way, this is me after dancing. This is the main character trait. Another example from my life I can give you. For example, right now I'm wearing these crystals recently that I'm liking very much. This is being unapologetically me. Previously, I would have think what other people think of this style, like what you are wearing. This is not you, but not anymore. And you know what? People don't care. People are busy about themselves. So be the person you always want to be. Last but not the least. Number four, restarting your old hobby. Hobbies are the powerful way to reconnect with yourself and reclaim the main character energy that probably you used to have in early days in your childhood. Hobbies reflect your old passion that you had connected when you were too young, but may have forgotten in the flow of time, maybe because of your education or work. Hobbies like maybe playing football, doing music, writing poems. Think about that and start that hobby again. It will help you to reconnect with your authentic self, bringing a spark of excitement in your life. For example, for me, it's about sketching and painting. In my childhood, I used to love these a lot and now doing it again. And I realize I'm connecting with the same environment of colors and having the old emotions back of observing things with fresh eyes. As I think being the main character of your life isn't just about about achieving your goals. It's about embracing the moments that make your life enjoyable and meaningful. So that's it. I hoped it helped you somehow. These are the points I have talked about. Think about this. Please share this video with at least someone whom you think need this video. You can comment below if you have or applied any of other ideas to be the main character of your life. Subscribe if you haven't already. Meet you soon.